so hi guys my name is Suj and welcome to my channel in this I'm going to talk about mobile drill stand so a few of you may have seen me use this drill stand in my previous videos like I've used this extensively on my desk build on my paragola build or my dining table build and I've even used the same jig quite a lot even in building this workbench and it's pretty accurate and it is really good for what it is but there are two things in this one which may or may not cause an issue for you like the number one issue is that it's you need a corded one because the neck over here is a bit too big that you need a corded and these cordless ones they will not fit in this so that's a big issue the second issue is that it's at 90 degrees and it's straight on dead on 90 degrees so if you do need to cut it on an angle like 45 degrees or 30 degrees or anything random like that it is quite difficult I mean you could create a template and then screw it in over here and then use it but then there's a question of repeatability and it's not safe so there's one product which is now in the market and quite a few makers are doing it like Rockler has it and there's stuff in eBay and now Banggood is also selling it so full disclosure Banggood did send me this one to do a review on it so in this video my plan is to compare this one along with this one and see how it behaves now this is 24 pounds on amazon or 23 and this is 23.45 on amazon so it's only like 50p difference but there are two things in this which i feel you may be interested in so the first one is that there's an adapter in this with which you can use your cordless drills and the second thing is it's got a tilt base so that you can actually tilt it successfully and see how that goes so We'll unbox this and see how it looks like. Now these chucks which come in, they take bits from 1.5mm to 13mm, which normally covers all your usual woodworking drills. Now this is a flat base, which is kind of like a metal alloy. I'm assuming it's an aluminium alloy, which is a slightly more hardened. It's not cast iron because I checked with a magnet and there were no magnetic properties. Now these plastic bushings on either side, they take these metal bolts in it. And these bolts are which get screwed on to the handle. Now when I first tightened it, I found that there was a bit of a play. I just use a couple of washers to give it a bit more of a meat so that when you bolt it in, it gets really pulled into it. Now before you do any plunge, just make sure you got it dialed in in your angle. So for that, I just use my square. A few things to note over here is you got a stop block over here so when you push it down it'll just hit that stop block and it'll just stop over there. You also got this stop block at this location with which you get a fixed position. So with that fixed position your drill stays constant. Now screwing in the metal chuck is pretty easy you just turn it anti-clockwise. And it just works like a normal chuck on your pillar drill or bench drill and all that. Now let's do some quick tests. So the first thing which I'm going to do is cut stuff at 45 degrees because this is what most people will be looking at when buying a jig like this. So I dialed in at 45 degrees and let's see how the cut goes. Well, to be honest, it actually worked better than I expected because I was expecting a bit of a wiggle from the springs and the cable and all that. But to get it accurate, you have to make sure that your workpiece is clamped and your jig is also really held tight or it should be clamped as well. Now with the 45 degrees done, I'm just going to mark it back into 90 degrees and just see how it performs.
well with 90 degrees that's no surprise it is actually pretty good I mean, one of the major reasons why you would use this kind of a jig especially when you don't have a drill press or if you want to drill straight hole somewhere in the middle of a panel like this one in this case I'm just going to use a Fastener bit and demonstrate how it works As you can see it's pretty flawless, it is always dead on straight as long as you got the entire thing bolted up accurately. Next to the test is drilling some holes on pipes. So for that you got this black V shaped groove on it and you rest the pipe on this V groove. So over here I'm just marking two positions on it and always while drilling on metal use your goggles. Well, there was no drama over here either. It screwed in perfectly well. Now there's one thing which you could use is this kind of drill blocks. Now this particular one, Dirk kindly gifted it to me for the scrap wood challenge. And with this you can see that you can always drill it accurately. It's good and a low tech solution for a simple problem. Now let's see why you can't use this cordless drills on these kind of older mechanisms. So you can see over here in this case of this Aldi cordless drill, the chuck just fits into it but the problem is the chuck also rotates so when it rotates it takes off the paint and it's not even holding it tightly in there anyway. In the case of this older Bosch drill what you can see that the chuck is a bit too fat that it doesn't slide in. So as some final conclusions let's look at this drill press. Now this drill press is 100% accurate it's always accurate the only flaw in that is in my case specifically my depth is only like 12 centimeters from the neck so anything over that I cannot use it so here comes the next one which is again another mobile drill stand which I've had for years with this the drawback of this is that you can only use this corded kind of drills you cannot use any cordless so to overcome that this specific one the advantage is, is that you can use any of your corded drills including the cordless one which the other one can do Plus, you have the option of the tilt base. So if you want to do anything in an angle, 40 degrees, 60 degrees, 45, you can do that. Which is why I would recommend it. The only issue is that if your legs are a bit wobbly, sorry, not your legs, if the stand looks a bit wobbly, you may need to pack it up with washers like what I did earlier in the video. So with that, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Bye.